Good day to you, or good evening, B-Movie Maniacs, wherever you may be. It's Paul Brooks here with you again, and I have another interview for you. You may be asking yourself, why is it always Paul doing these interviews? Why are the other guys? Well, I like talking to people, and I live in Los Angeles, so there you go. This time around, I have not one, but two special guests. It's the Bowling Sisters, Kansas and Parker Bowling. They are uh, both talented actors and filmmakers, and uh, they're starring in a brand new short film that just came out a couple days ago called Swamp Women Kissing Booth. I love that title. Uh, and if you want to check out the film, we will post a link to it on our website, bmoviemania.com, or if you simply search for Swamp Women Kissing Booth on vimeo.com, it should pop up. Really, really fun little short film. Highly recommend that you check that out. Um, that film was directed by Tori Pope, and it also stars Sierra Renfro, who was a special guest on B Movie Mania last season, so there's a nice little tie-in for you. But uh, Kansas is well known for having wrote and directed B.C. Butcher. It's a film that was uh, distributed by none other than Troma Entertainment. And Parker is also one of the stars of B.C. Butcher. It's the first ever prehistoric slasher flick. Also, highly recommend you check that one out. You can get it on um, Amazon.com. It's on Blu-ray, actually. They're talented, they're hardworking, and they're my special guests on B Movie Mania interviews. It's B Movie Mania. Mania. Kansas and Parker, thank you so much for chatting with me on B Movie Mania. Welcome. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> so I want to start by saying thank you, actually. You're pretty good friends with Lloyd Kaufman, uh -huh. and because of you guys, I was able to contact him, and he does the narration for this very podcast. Oh, cool. And that was your doing, <laughs> if you recall. Oh, yeah. So thank you. Thanks to us. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> how, how long have you guys known Lloyd, and, you know, how would you describe your relationship with him. Obviously, your film B.C. Butcher is put out through trauma, so you have a working relationship with him. But what is it like, you know, in general, sort of hanging out with Uncle Lloyd? He's like the fun uncle. You know? Yeah, he's our fun uncle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We just hang out with him. You do different projects. I mean, you're in different films together and things uh -huh. like that. Conventions, yeah. right? Yeah, conventions are fun. Yeah. Do you text? Do you hang, you know, do you yeah. hang out outside of like working on stuff? Yeah, I mean, well, we usually see him when there's like, because he lives in New York, so if he's out here for a convention or something, but we usually like go out to dinner, dinner with him after or something. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and did you, did you meet him through, you know, do the BC Butcher and then uh, he saw it somehow and that's how you guys met? Um, well, I, I directed the film and then before it was finished, I just, I found his email and I sent him an email and I was like, hey, we should have a meeting about it. And we did, and then he ended up distributing it. Cool. There you go. <laughs> so we're talking about B-movies. We we're, we're, we just had Orgy of the Dead on, the uh, Ed Wood classic. And I just want to know what some of your guys' favorite films, um, either B-movies or, you know, just cult cinema, that sort of thing. I know that both of you are pretty heavily into that sort of thing. So if you just had to rattle off a few, what would be some of your guys' favorites? My favorites are Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Spider Baby. And I second that one. Spider Baby's really good. Yeah, and Rock and Roll High School. Those will be my... Oh, well, see, this is this is where it gets straight because like our Russ Meyer films considered yes. good movies. Yes. But what, why, what makes that a B-movie? Well, okay, I guess that's really more cult cinema than anything else. I, Some people consider, like, Star Wars to be a B-movie. Well, they're pretty stupid, though. <laughs> <laughs> it really does, I guess, just, just depend on your perspective and sort of what you consider mm -hmm. to be A, B, cult. It's all in that vein. But, Parker, what about you? Do you have anything that sticks out for you? I don't know. My favorite movie is What a Way to Go. It's 1964, Shirley MacLaine, and... 
Paul Newman, Dean Martin, and Robert Mitchum, and Gene Kelly. It's really good. <laughs> I don't know. My favorite movie of all time is Don Juan, or If Don Juan Were a Woman. It's Roger Vadim, 1973, Bridget Bardot's last movie with Jane Birkin. They, they have a, they have sex. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <ooh. laughs> like, actually in the movie? Like no, actually, well, they're, they're naked in bed together in the movie. It's a really nice scene. As somebody from the Midwest who moved out here and is still kind of getting used to being out here, you're both from here. You were born in what, Beverly Hills? Yeah. Well, technically, we were born at Cedar sinai we, okay. we never lived in Beverly Hills, though. <laughs> okay. You live in Hollywood. You're from here. Has that been a major influence on the fact that you guys are, you know, pretty young and you're into a lot of these types of uh, movies that maybe a lot of other people your age probably aren't necessarily into. I think it started as parental influence, but then, like, but then we, it branched we, out and then we, like... We evolved because, from our parents' taste. Yeah, we evolved from our parents' taste, like, when we were, like, 10. And, like, I don't really know how. I mean, I'm sure being in L.A. influences... Um, how we value films and the importance of them, but there's not really any way of knowing because we've never lived anywhere else. So. Right. Now, both of you are working on some new projects. You're in some new films. Um, I know that just, what was it, last weekend you were doing a casting call for something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm directing a second feature film. Great. Can you chat about that a little bit, and, and what can you tell us about it? Um, I'm not going to say that much because I'm in it, though, so. I figured you would be. <laughs> Parker's one of the main girls. You'll see me in my bra and underwear. Mm-hmm. It's going to be really cute. Stay tuned. I can, I'll tell you Parker's character's name. Her name is Sue Ann. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry if that just gave away Juicy a detail. Yeah, it's a really juicy detail. Um, I will say that it, it is a mixture between... Bye Bye Birdie, and Faces of Death. Oh my gosh. So is this uh, different from the one that uh, you were kind enough to let me read? Oh, Remember yes. we did that reading? Yeah, well don't talk about that. You can't right. talk about that. But. Different film. <laughs> but yeah, it's a different film. Cool. And so how did the casting call uh, go for it? It went really well. We auditioned 69 girls in one Magic day. Magic number. Yeah, it was a lucky number. You purposely only auditioned 69. No. No. It just happened that way? Yeah. Well, that's pretty sweet. Magic yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we, we auditioned some really, really fantastic people, and I'm really, really excited to have them in the film. Cool. And then what about, I know that um, you're in uh, some different projects. We had Sierra Renfro on the podcast last season. Oh, yeah, she, about she came on to audition. Oh, she did? Yeah. Cool. And all three of you were in a film together not too long ago. Yeah, Absolute Vow. Absolute <laughs> Vow, right. Starring Parker. There you go. And can you talk a little bit about that experience? Wasn't Lloyd in it as well? Yeah, Lloyd was in it. And Rodney. <laughs> and Rodney. <laughs> I don't want to give away his, his line it's in the really film. It's really great. But it's really good. <laughs> Rodney's parts are really great. Lloyd's parts are really great. Um, Parker should talk about it because she's the star. Yeah, what was it like being the star of this thing? Um, hard because I had to learn a lot of lines that were... I had to memorize a lot of Bible speech. That were, (laughs) like, Bible passages and shit like that. (laughs) But Parker is a a pro. She remembered everything. I don't know how she did that. Because I'm a pro. Yeah, she's a pro. And what was the experience like making the movie? You shot it, like, uh, just up in the hills up here, right? Yeah, Bronson Canyon. You can't say that. We don't have a permit. Nope. Cut that. <laughs> Paul, cut that part out. <laughs> Just kidding. We had a permit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you know, it can get pretty hot up in the hills. Was it a, was it a difficult shoot or was it pretty fun and, and laid back? What was the um, atmosphere we, like? We don't complain. I, in my contract, it says <laughs> that people have to fan me, so it was okay. Yeah. We made him get us vegan food. Well, that's kind of like a, like, that's what someone should do, like, on a set. Yeah, that's true. Hey, I went vegan a couple months ago. Did I tell you that? 
No. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, trying to your current footprint. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to it's improve my health and everything like that. So, you guys have been doing a little bit longer than me. You have any tips for? I'm not very good at cooking or anything, so I don't know how to really do this yet. Um, well, cooking is really easy because just a good meal is you get like some wild rice or brown rice or something, and then you just get a bunch of vegetables, saute it with like some like olive oil, sesame oil, and then you have a meal. There you go. It's so it's like the cheapest thing to eat. I hate sesame oil. Why? It's gross. <laughs> it's gross. Do you know in Blue Hawaii, there's a girl who goes, I hate pineapples. <laughs> That's Parker. <laughs> I actually really like pineapples, though. <laughs> but she's the blue Hawaii girl. Is there anything that... Um, I, I hate mushrooms. And so with vegan stuff, a lot of times you see there's, there's mushrooms mm -hmm. put into, you know, like portobello mm -hmm. veggie burgers or whatever. Is there anything that you guys really don't like that's in a lot of vegan food? I think it's pretty hard to like... I mean, pretty easy to like cut out what you don't like. So I hate bell peppers. I'm mm. allergic to apples. Are you serious? To, she's not. It's totally placebo. She doesn't like them, so she throws up, and she says she's allergic. I got food poisoning from apples. Apple pie. Well, maybe there's something else in the apple pie. I was like three, so... <laughs> but I, I, I'm, I haven't been able to eat apples since then. Yeah, but like, I pretty much just like eat smoothies all day, and it's really good. Do you juice? Do you ever do the juice thing? I just did a juice cleanse. I didn't realize how much I loved food until I wasn't able to eat it. Right. <laughs> so now I'm probably gonna eat every thing always, forever, and I'm gonna get really fat. <laughs> okay, this is starting to look like Orson Welles. I'm, I'm gonna be like Orson Welles. Um, I'm gonna go to Pink's Hot Dogs every day. I was actually a little uh, confused when you, when you guys showed up. I'm like, why is Orson Welles here all of a sudden <laughs> with Parker? It doesn't make any sense. F for fat. Let's talk a little bit about um, you know some of your other. We talked about movies, but favorite all time actors, favorite all time actresses. Anybody immediately come to mind if you and had to go Kansas. Um, favorite actress, Tuesday Weld. Favorite actor, Warren Oates. Done. Parker. <laughs> okay, my favorite actresses are Tuesday Weld, Bridget Bardot, Lauren Bacall. Who's your favorite actor? My favorite actor? Oh boy. James Stewart, Gregory Peck. I might have to throw Marlon Brando in there. What a Ooh, game. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Maybe Marlon. Yeah. Um, anything else that you can tell us about any of your upcoming projects, anything that you're starring in or anything like that? We're going to star in a short film directed by Tori Pope um, called Swamp Women Kissing Booth. I like the title. <laughs> I came up with the title, thank you. A good title is very important, <laughs> you know? Me, me, and act we, me and Natasha Halevi, we came up with the title and we were like, this needs to turn into a movie. So I just called my friend Tori because she directed this short, The Bride Maker I was in. I was like, hey, we have a title for you. Can you turn it into a short film? And she's like, okay. And then she basically like wrote like a monkeys episode based off of the title starring us. And That's Kathleen Hughes is gonna be in it. Yeah, Kathleen Hughes from It Came From Outer Space. It's gonna be like her first movie in like 30 years or something. Wow. So she's gonna be in it, it's gonna be great. Awesome, looking forward to all that. Um, if uh, people out there who are listening to the podcast would like to, you know, follow you, connect with you on social media, we'll post some links down below, but where, where can they go for that? My Instagram and Twitter is at Kansas Bowling. And from those two places, you can find my website too. My Instagram is Parker Love Bowling and my Twitter is Parker L Bowling. Cool. Because love wouldn't fit. Right. <laughs> Thanks so much for chatting with me, mm -hmm. and good luck with all the future projects that you guys got going on. Thank you. Thanks. Absolutely. Listen up, maniacs. Do you have a question or a comment? Would you like to uh, send some bourbon to Uncle Lloydie? You can contact the gang on Facebook at B Movie Mania. You can also drop them a line at bmoviemania.com. Reach out, touch them. They are touching themselves and they might just reach back. 
I'm Lloyd Kaufman saying, see you next time on B-Movie Mania. Woohoo!